Welcome. So I have this small project that I've been working on for quite a few years now, essentially, and that is quite a few years ago, maybe 10 years ago or so, I figured I wanted to do a scenario based in Operation Telic, the British uh, equivalent of Operation Iraqi Freedom and uh, specifically in terms of the siege or capturing of the city of Basra. And uh, back when the original event was happening, there were a few videos surfaced on the net uh, in terms of the British forces uh, entering the outskirts of the city uh, with tanks and other uh, armored units. And uh, I just kind of have this thing that sometimes I see uh, I don't know, images or, or footage that just stuck with my head and um, especially with Steel Beast uh, later on I was thinking you know, how cool this would be to have something like this in the game as well and uh, obviously um, one of the key things required for this is to have the actual city as well which we currently don't have or I don't think that anybody has made a Basra map so I figured Okay, what the hell, I'm going to do the map myself. And then I started building the map and um, then it kind of became an obsession of mine, you know, studying the actual map and trying to reveal the actual city uh, as much as possible in terms of steel beast uh, possibilities. And um, I don't know the total amount of hours that I clocked into, you know, making it or the number of years that's been, you know, just hanging out there, but it's definitely in the several hundreds of, of hours and it, it kind of became a hobby and an obsession for me. And uh, there were years where I didn't touch it at all. And then after that, I, I pick it up again. If you had worked with, you know, maps or scenario makings in Steel Beast or another game, um, it's a good thing that when you get the creative kick and you know you want to do and build stuff but after a while you get easily burnt out so nevertheless for this video what I wanted to show is that I actually have a pretty big portion of the city already built which I want to show to you but as you can see from the map I mean we are still missing uh, quite a significant chunk uh, I would say approximately two-third uh, of the city is already there but I haven't really you know worked on this the past year or so and I just didn't really knew you know what to do with it I was even thinking about okay let's just delete this whole stuff because I'm just you know wasting too much time with it or put it to steelbase.com or, or release it somewhere and maybe somebody can continue it or I'm going to continue it myself so for this video I just want to give you a quick overview of you know what I have so far in the, the CD and then just showcase it with a bit of a engagement I don't really have any scenarios set up for this one, just a couple of minor engagements as we approach the city, but it's going to be sufficient to show you the scale and, you know, the detail and, you know, what, what you could expect here. But first, since we haven't started up the map, let me just go into you know, 3D world view, because this is, you know, far easier to show things here. So the overall setting, and as it was originally, was that the, you know, British were kind of like uh, sieging Basra, blocking all roads in and out, and then doing smaller skirmishes inside the, the, the city gradually, and then taking over the city. Uh, at the end of the day, it didn't became that deadly uh, hostiles fighting that some of the commanders were fearing, but it, it was still a, a quite you know significant uh, achievement to get this city uh, under control at that time, especially, you know, with having armored units in, in uh, urban setting. So the original concept of the scenario would be is that, you know, you would have, you know, Basra, uh, south of the uh, Euphrates River. And uh, although I'm not using the actual heat map, uh, what I have is fairly accurate to the, the actual uh, location, along with the, you know, topography and the, the scale as well and the distances as well. 
So uh, each square here represents one by one, uh, uh, one square kilometer uh, space, uh, essentially. Um, and my main approach was that, as in, as in the real life, and I've been using uh, available footage and, and photos, map views for this, to create the, the city view as, as much as possible. So we have several main routes uh, entering the city. And uh, for this engagement, we will be taking this southern main route where the actual main advancement uh, uh, took place. So we will be crossing this river here and then uh, the outskirts of the city. What we will have is, first of all, on the left side, it's kind of like an industrial zone and some smaller older residential uh, areas, living space uh, just near it. We also have sort of like a, a stadium uh, uh, close by, parking spaces, just to show you, you know, some of the detail that we have here. And um, this is, you know, the, one of the residential areas on the outskirts. And then as we move along this industrial section here, we are gradually uh, getting closer uh, to the kind of like the gates of the city uh, or the center and uh, so just look around this gentleman is probably familiar to most of you same with this one next to a gas station but essentially a couple of kilometers uh, maybe two kilometers from the river. And this is where we are getting to the uh, beginning of the main section of the city. And uh, I don't know what the draw distance is right now, but as you can see, all the far up to maybe like four or five kilometers distance, we have you know buildings. And uh, as I said, the street layouts are pretty much accurate to the original ones. And I've been trying to replicate the, at least the feel of the particular space, whether it's residential or industrial, uh, to whatever the, the uh, actual location was. Let me just show you a bit around uh, as we move in. As you can see, it's quite extensive. And, uh, you know, I, I think it would lend itself greatly to, you know, all sorts of scenarios. I mean, not just, you know, bus related one, but you can use this for all sorts of other scenarios. Um, I'm using an older computer, so the frame rate might not be that great, but and I'm still down on version 4.0 because my rig cannot run the later versions of Steel Beast. And uh, just look at it. So, I mean, like I said, hundreds of hours <laughs> spent on this one, and it's not just you know copy paste. Um, there are all sorts of you know varied places, areas out there. He's, this is like. Again, like a football field, sort of, uh, next to residential places. And uh, we just get back to the main road here. We have some government buildings, government structures. And then the way that the city built is well after this section, uh, again, we should have a residential section and then there is going to be a pretty big canal that extends up until the Euphrates River, which I haven't done that, I haven't done yet, but I did put in some landmarks uh, already, like for example, this particular palace place here, which I think looks fairly good and fairly accurate to what you have you know originally here in Basra one of the main palaces or, or churches I don't know how they, they call it but again here again are some of the other residential and industrial places a bit of a more shanty feeling to it and uh, as you can see it's A quite significantly big map to for a 
for an urban scenario or an urban setting. And here again, this is another uh, of the actual government uh, places that you have here. Uh, maybe this was the best party headquarters, I believe. Don't recall it, but and this will be like the main railways going outside the, of the city. And then again, this is still the railways. I think I did, or maybe didn't put in the, there's going to be an airport as well. So nevertheless, uh, I, I've been putting some significant hours into this one. It's haven't been released. As you can see, there's still a lot to go. And um, I might just put it out there as a, as a beta version. And uh, but actually, I'm thinking of you know continuing this and, and getting it done eventually because I'm interested in having this one and um, playing this one as well myself. So that that's why I built it. In the first place but uh, the amount of hours that I put into it is just you know I don't want to throw it out the window so let's give it a shot um, what I have so far set up is just uh, going to be um, standard entry into the city our units are going to be advancing up onto this intersection I, I did put in some basic uh, red forces along the route uh, just to have some engagement going on and then I'm just going to be doing a bit driving around in the city just to see, give, it, give it the feel how it feels from the inside so uh, I'm going to be leading the charge and uh, we will be taking the Challenger 2s and um, here again I'm using my own custom skins and um, essentially fully modded um, the sounds as well, a special tale for the, the Challenger too. So let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna initiate the movement. And uh, you already have contact. We have the tank there. So we will just be road marching essentially up this main road with the challengers taking the right side of the highway and then uh, the warriors will be on our left side. I think we have tank there. I did put in some, as I said, some dummy targets and uh, I think they deliberately made some of them like uh, inactive or seemingly abandoned. I believe this is like a T-55. I got it. Okay, that should be sufficient. Okay, now let's continue the, the advance. And uh, we are still at the very outskirts of the city, as I said, and this is going to be more of an industrial section. We need to speed up a bit. OK, 
I did put in like three runs into it. I don't think it's going to be engaging anymore, but maybe one more round. Okay, now it should be definitely out of action. some civilians and then I believe infantry on our right side. Again, I haven't really scripted any action for these normally at this stage. They should either retreat or surrender. They're just out in the open. Back to main gun. Stop. Let's hop around the rest of the platoon. And we got the second platoon coming right after us. And, as I mentioned, I'm still using the standard 4.0 version of SteelBees. Nevertheless, it still looks great with the particle effects that they added back then. Very Man, convincing, realistic. And, uh, seem to have another contact. Oh! Switch over to terminals. I'm not seeing any infantry. That's a civilian. It's a burnt down T seventy two. Okay, so for some reason the AI has decided to take this dirt road instead of the main road. And we got some contact on the right side. I'll switch over to hash. But as you can see, even with my older rig, frame rate is quite okay, even though you know, we are getting into the denser populated area of the city. I mean, there's going to be a lot more structures and streets um, coming up. And I guess, you know, frame rate is also dependent on, you know, how you set up your scenario, how many units you have in there. Um, computer needs to do the line of sight calculations for every unit, so... Um, but it does work definitely so uh, I know that you know big populated areas like this are not preferred in the engine but I think you can do it in a smart way 
and we are now just getting up to the edge of the city. Speeding up. Okay, we got BMPs and several other units straight ahead, so let's engage those. Shit. Switch over to car he runs. Hey, we got too many pores in the way. Uh, rounds just won't go through them, they just explode. And again, we dash. Like the ammunition just went off inside this truck. Here we got several infantry. And we've lost one of the platoon members. Now the second platoon is coming up, so we need to get out of the way. Country. We're just gonna wait until the second platoon is finishing its Go movement. On. I think I only set it up to advance up until this point. Yeah, they are stopping, Go on. and then we will take the take the lead. Fire. Where are the warriors? Yeah. They're just coming up. Okay, on terminals it looks to be I think, clear. Maybe this on. one is still up. Continue. Go on. Seems like we are getting shot by artillery. Okay, all the tanks seems to just take an RPG. But since this video is about showcasing the terrain, we just Turn to the right and just show you some of the streets here. And then we will get back to the main road. I think this is actually friendly artillery coming in. I didn't put in any artillery for the uh, Iraqi forces. 
but I did put in some artillery units for the British. Okay, from driver's perspective. So I'm just gonna head back to the main road. Let's see. I'm just going to hit the main road in the center and then uh, oh, gunner, car, men, on, go on. Can barely make them out. Oh, it's better. My frame rates are a bit choppy, but I mean, look at this street, so it's quite sad. Yeah, I'll just speed up. And we are just still at the edge of the city, I'm not even in the, as you can see on the map, still a lot more to go in terms of density. Okay, we lost another member. We just got this track shut off. Or maybe a friendly fire. But yeah, it tends to do that if you are in a column. I fairly frequently get shot in the ass by my own uh, the two members. But let's keep moving. My GPS door is shut. Uh, how do I open it up? Shift B. Okay. Let's just stick to the main road. Okay, so now we are down to two tanks within the platoon. So what I'm going to do is essentially get up here towards this governmental area, show you the palace and then maybe some of the other uh, industrial places and then wrap it up. But I think you already get a feel of the actual map and you know, some of the possibilities that you could have with this one. It's just that you know, I'm still missing like one third of it. Nevertheless, it's very much usable in this stage and phase as well. Okay, now I'm just going to 
detach the other unit. So then I'm only controlling one tank and this way I can actually move freely. Okay, I believe the other units are going to just be holding up here. Okay, so there aren't going to be any more enemy units. Uh, I didn't put in any to this section, so I can just do a sightseeing instead. So this is one of the main governmental buildings. I believe it was either the police headquarters or bus party headquarters that actually got hit by airstrikes. And then there are quite a few uh, palace areas in, in bus traffic, at least two or three. Uh, I only built one of them so far, it should be somewhere around here. I can already see the spires, yeah, that's it. But you can imagine the, you know, how this would look like if this whole section here up until the river would be populated with the rest of the buildings but that's just you know quite a bit more to go okay now we are at the edge of the palace again here this whole section here should be you know, fully populated with buildings and um, I think you get the idea, but let me just take the road towards the palace. Let's have a look at here. go down another street as well and then I'm gonna wrap up the video so at the next intersection we're just gonna turn left Now this section of the city is more residential and in the I believe in the northwestern side there are quite a few like industrial places, uh, factories. Uh, one of them this section is coming up now on the right side. Yeah, there we have another palace as well, I'm just gonna head that way. I thought I only put in one, but looks like I did put in two. Let's just go and check it out.
shelter from here. Okay, so this has been a just a quick overview, but I think it gives you a pretty good idea of what I'm trying to achieve here and the, the, the level I, that I want to get to with the city layout. As I said, at this stage, I don't know whether I will just continue working on it or release it at this as it is. Maybe somebody will, you know, continue it, but nevertheless, if it's finished or, or released or somebody uses it, I think it's, it's going to lend itself to some pretty good scenarios or engagements and um, yeah we will see I'm not sure uh, right now I have pretty much my head wrapped around Hero Fighter 2000 and um, Panzer Elite um, this one takes a lot of time and, and, and dedication so I learned that from myself in terms of you know, hobbies whenever I get the itch to do something I should just go with it Right now, I don't feel like you know wasting too many hours. Just again getting back, watching the uh, charts, and then placing down buildings and uh, all this kind of stuff. But it's something that I want to get done eventually. I just hope it's not going to take me like an additional five years or so. But it's it will definitely come in one shape or form. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, hope you like the, the, the outlook of this boss run that I just showed. So, see you next time.